Hi, this is Kate Hess from Kirkwood Community College Library. I am going to show you how to get started using Google Drive. Google Drive is a place where you can save and share documents. If you start from the Google website, you can get to Drive right over here. Now you do want to use either Firefox or Chrome as a browser. Internet Explorer will not work well. Now it's going to ask you to log on. If you have a personal Gmail account, you may want to add a new account using your Kirkwood student email address uh, just to give you um, a professional address to use. Okay, so this is showing me folders I have already created. To start a new document, you're just going to click New, and there's Google Docs. You'll see there's also spreadsheets and uh, presentations that you can create on here. So it's creating a new document, and the menu options are going to be very similar to Microsoft Word. I can type right in here. I can copy and paste, of course. I can change the formatting. All the kinds of things you're used to being able to do in Word. Okay? It will automatically uh, save all your changes right here. And then you will want to put in a title. In order to share this document with another student, with your instructor, you click on the Share button. And you want, you'll want to make sure that you enter their Google account address or their Gmail address so that you give them access to your document here. It will automatically give them permission to edit, but you do have a couple options there. You can print from here. Sometimes it will automatically give you the print option. Sometimes it will have you um, select where you want to print to. It depends on the browser that you're in. The other option you have is download as. Let's say that you've been working on this at home and now you're at school and you want to look at it in Word. You can download as a Word document right there. Okay, and that will open it in Word. The other thing you can do in Drive is create a new folder and share the folder. Okay, so here's that folder. You can right click and share. And now, since I've shared that folder, every document that I put in there is also going to be shared. So that's a quick way if you're going to be sharing with the same group or with the same instructor multiple times, that is a great way to do that. Thanks for listening.